Hi everybody! Yes, the plugin window got bigger again. And yes, we're getting a completely new feature. And this time it's about filtering. First about terminology. A filter in synthesizers is often called VCF, which is a voltage controlled filter. And of course in digital synthesizers there are no voltage controlled filters because there is no voltage in the software. So actually they're digitally controlled, so they would be called DCF. But synthesizer manufacturers still stick to this term VCF because it's known. But I've seen some synthesizers from the 80s which actually call it DCF. Okay, enough about that. So what is a filter in a synthesizer? I think all of you have already used equalizers. And in a way, this is just a simple form of an equalizer. So now we see this straight green line here. And when you imagine this was an equalizer plot, you would say, well, the equalizer is not activated. And so it is. And when I now turn down this frequency knob, you see what happens. And yes, we have a low pass filter. Let's hear what happens when I move this. Well, that sounds like a low pass filter. But filters and synthesizers sound different most of the time, and that's because we can use the resonance filter. So we have a resonating filter which resonates at the filter frequency. And that means we have a boost at the filter frequency and then the cutoff. And this will sound very really more the way you know it from synthesizers. And we can even change the filter. So this is a low pass filter which can resonate with 24 dB per octave. And we can change that to 12 dB per octave. And you see in the plot what happens. This shoulder here is not as high as before. And the cutoff is not as strict as before. And if we change that to 48 dB per octave, we have the opposite effect. And then there's one more filter, and this is the bandpass filter. So it filters on both sides of the filter frequency. And with later feature updates in those plugins, we can avoid this, but try to not peak too high here when we use a filter with a very strong shoulder we have to turn down the levels because we just heard what happens and we can turn on and off the filter with this knob here and we have an option for this key follow thing by default that is put to full and this means if you play the middle c on your keyboard the filter frequency is where you actually set it and if you play higher notes, the filter frequency will be adjusted to these notes. Or if you play lower notes, the filter will close even further because it will be adjusted to the lower notes. If we put that to half, the filter is also readjusted, but not really according to the key you play, but according to half the distance to the middle C. And if we turn key follow off, the filter will always be set to the frequency you give it here, regardless of the key you play, which could sound like this. And not like this. So that's filtering for today. I hope you have fun trying this and bye bye.